Hey guys, I'm Kalpana Jain. Hope you all are doing well. I'm back with another video. This video is quite different from the videos which I usually upload. This video is suggested by one of my students. Hopefully this will be helpful for you too. By the end of the video, you'll be able to make a simple resume within few minutes. And I'll also share some do's and don'ts while making a resume. So without further delay, let's get started. For the convenience purpose, I have already made a simple format of resume. You can make alternative changes as per your requirement. I have made this in MS Word. You can also use Google Docs as per your convenience. So the first thing comes the first that is your name. Your name should be in a bigger and a bolder font when compared to anything else that has been mentioned in your resume. Then the next followed by your address, your email ID and the mobile number. Now it's better to avoid a photo but if you are uploading a photo let it be with the light or a clear background and with the formal for both male and female and it do not upload any selfie photo and photos which are inappropriate for the job you are applying and also please do not mention resume or cv on the top of your resume because the hr already knows that it is a resume no need to mention that then the next one is objective now the objective should be like it should state your skills and experience that will make you an ideal candidate for the job you are applying and also your career goals now for example if you are applying for a teaching job then your skills must be good communication friendly with the students uh, like this skills and experience which will be helpful for your the job you are applying it can change alternatively as per the requirement of your job then the next one is educational qualification now always always mention your educational qualification in a reverse chronological order like for example for a bcom student it's bcom puc slc then you can mention the school and college in which you have studied and also the board year of passing or year of duration <coughs> or duration now for example if you have completed your bcom from 2013 to 16 mention that or just mention the year of passing do not mention both of them you can choose either of them and the same must be followed for puc and slc then the next one is percentage or cgpa then the next comes is experience before that i have to say here if you uh, a bcom graduate had uh, cleared the cpt foundation uh, uh, that is uh, your foundation of ca or you have uh, cleared the prelims of cs you can also mention that uh, after your educational qualification you can mention that now if you are a fresher always educational qualification comes the first but if you are a experienced person experience should be mentioned above and the uh, uh, followed by the educational qualification since this is a freshers profile experience would be not there that's why it is uh, education comes the first now i have mentioned here experience now i know a fresher does not have any experience but this is for those students who has done any uh, part time job or has done any tuition tutorials like that if you have done you can mention that it will give a good impression on the hr it creates a sense of responsibility that you have at your early stage so that's good if you have you can write if you do not have then just skip the part then the next one is computer skills now while writing computer skills you can also like write it like a technical skills uh, all the commerce students are well aware about tally now you should also mention uh, in one sentence what you all you know in tally and which version everything since it is was just a format i have mentioned like that now the programming languages if you know uh, if you are a, a computer science students or student then you might be knowing any at least one language like c c++ or um, java any one language if you know you can mention that if you do not know just skip that part then other skill other skills are like what you have if you have a good communication skill or uh, you are a very uh, good at problem solving or you are a team player you are a very good leadership uh, quality you have or you have a good organizing capability you can mention that anything 
but do not elaborate it do not write over uh, just mention few points which are appropriate and which are required for the job you are applying so it's very important that you mention the skills which is required for the job you are applying if the skills you have and for the job requirement if does not match up the hr won't be interested at all then the next one is achievements now while writing achievements you have to write it in one or two sentences for example if you have attended a college fest you have to write the college fest you have attended a what prize you have won for example if you have a won in district level or you have a state level or a national level and the prize you have to write it in one sentence uh, you can also write sports if you are good at that if you can write it if you are good at drawing sketching you have won any prize which prize in which year everything details should be mentioned in one sentence again do not elaborate this then the next one is personal details now the personal details should be the last before the declaration the personal details should be the last do not mention anything after the personal details after the personal detail it is declaration and that's the end now the personal details should consider date of birth or age now i have seen many of the students write name again in your personal detail please do not write name again in your personal detail because you have already mentioned it in the top of the resume do not write unnecessary information or do not write the information which will uh, require a space in your resume it's better to avoid it now either mention your date of birth or age do not mention both of them then again the gender nationality hobbies and uh, now write the hobbies which are relevant and which will uh, give weightage to your resume rather than writing unnecessary thing if you do not have it just skip the part then the next one is language known whatever languages you know like english kannada hindi marathi telugu tamil whatever the languages you know you can mention them then the next one the last one is the declaration which you have to mention in all of the resume then the date and the place on this side you have to uh, sign and in the bracket your full name must be mentioned so some of the tips are uh, always write uh, the relevant information which is required for the job you are applying and also mention the skills which are appropriate for the job and do not exceed do not exceed your resume more than a page or two page max to max two page but it is better to prepare a one page resume for a fresher for a fresher it's fine and uh, avoid upload uh, uploading a photo or adding a photo but if you are adding also please add with a clear background or a white background or a light color background uh, with a formal clothes uh, do not upload selfie photos and all and do not up, uh, write anything which you do not know if you are for example if you have written that i love reading novels and you have mentioned any novel name and if you have not read that please do not write it that's not right and write try to make your own resume rather than cut copy paste from the google and always mention whatever the things you know honestly because honesty uh, honestly it is better you uh, give a clear information because even the hr uh, expects loyalty from you rather than anything else so these are the some of the tips and do's and don'ts uh, while making a resume hopefully this was helpful for you and if it did then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel till then bye bye